It's only somewhat true that ADHD and trauma merely show similar symptoms. For many years, researchers believed that ADHD was genetic or only caused by a change in the brain structure. Science now shows there's a strong association between childhood trauma and adult ADHD. According to a survey, up to 17% of trauma-exposed children meet the ADHD criteria as well. So what is the link between trauma and ADHD? The American Psychological Association defines ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, as a behavioral symptom characterized by six or more symptoms categorized as either inattention and or inactivity. These symptoms usually hinder social, academic, or occupational functioning and begin to appear before the age of seven. While trauma is an emotional response to a disturbing experience resulting in extreme fear, anxiety, or other deep psychological upsets, such as dissociation, helplessness, confusion, and other disruptive feelings. Although we've seen portrayals or have societal notions as to what ADHD is and what it looks like, recent studies point to its correlation to trauma. To truly understand ADHD, we must try to understand where it comes from. However, while comparing both conditions, it's important to understand that in psychology, nothing is black and white, says James M. Greenblatt, MD, medical director at Psychiatry Redefined and author of the ADHD book, Finally Focused, meaning that trauma does not directly nor immediately cause ADHD, or not all ADHD is a result of trauma. A 2018 survey conducted by Paul Fruin and his team lifetime traumatic stressors and adverse childhood experiences, found that many ADHD patients experienced a form of early childhood trauma or trauma suffered in utero. These traumatic events became stressors with long lasting consequences. In some, the consequences were expressed as ADHD when they reached adulthood. This new study breaks the old thinking that ADHD only expresses itself during early childhood. A 2019 study by Zuning Cheng and colleagues Associations between adverse childhood experiences and health outcomes in adults aged 18 to 59 years explains how adverse childhood experiences change the structure and functioning of the brain, making these children more at risk of developing mental or somatic disorders. Because adverse child experiences, also known as ACEs, alter cognitive and affective processing and heighten sensitivity to stimuli, it's no wonder that ACEs can cause ADHD. This study is further backed by a 2017 study that compares ACEs scores and indices to ADHD diagnosis and severity. The study found that children with ADHD had had more traumatic experiences in their childhood than other children. Now, to be clear, trauma or ACE does not just encompass physical trauma, but also emotional and sexual trauma, neglect, socioeconomic hardship, familial mental illness, neighborhood violence, and other factors. These researchers found a significant correlation between a traumatic childhood event and the severity of ADHD. Interestingly enough, ADHD does not only express itself during childhood, it can also manifest itself in adulthood. Because the ACEs or trauma cause long-lasting changes, these changes may take a while, depending on the social environment, to manifest. A 2013 study published by Kevin M. Anshel and colleagues, Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder and Adult Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, Clinical Features and Familial Transmission, as well as many other studies, find that adults with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, or even CPTSD, are more likely to have ADHD. In adults, both these conditions are present. Difficulty concentrating, irritability, or heightened sensitivity, restlessness, and difficulty sleeping. Because both present similar symptoms, it's difficult to untangle them from one another. So how do you heal from trauma and ADHD? Treatment for both conditions differs from person to person. Some do well with CBT or DBT therapies, while others choose medication. There is a theory that presents neuroplasticity as an answer. Because trauma fundamentally alters the way your brain processes information, bolstering your neuroplasticity and reframing your perception and how your brain processes information may be helpful. It's always a good idea to seek professional help to choose the most suitable treatment. Did you know about the links between trauma and ADHD? What are your thoughts on what you've learned? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to us and helps us to continue creating valuable content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.